That's easier to play with, yeah. Okay, it is Thursday, February 24th, and uh, let's see, I think this is day three of uh, the recording. I'm out here in uh, BC recording at Protection Island Studios, and uh, this is my little cabin that I'm staying in that's connected uh, just off the studios, and uh, we've had two days at it, and it's gone so well. Um, there's a lot to be said for being prepared, and... Uh, you know, some of these songs I've been working on for years. Uh, I think one of the songs dates back older than my kids, and I have kids, uh, a kid that's in high school, and some I wrote just like literally a couple weeks ago. Um, but when I came out here, I wanted to make sure that I was ready to go. Um, Jonathan Anderson, who I'm working with, has been wonderful. And he gave me some really good advice. You know, come well-rested, come come ready. He, uh, you know, didn't put a lot of pressure on me. And uh, had a lot of quiet time um, before I came out. And it was good. Uh, it's very hard work, but uh, it's going very, very well. And... Um, as we're recording these songs, like for example, this one song that I'm going to start recording today is called Run. Uh, I started writing this um, in 2019. That was pre-pandemic, pre a lot of things. And, um, you know, just getting back into the headspace of where I wrote that song. And that's one of the notes that John uh, gave me is, you know, what were you thinking about when you wrote this song? What, you know, what were you, what was in your mind? What were you, uh, you know, dreaming about? And um, that connection to nature is kind of what started this song. Um, you know, I have a lot of anxiety, I'm sure many out there do too. And anytime that I go outside and just be in nature, I just feel better. In fact, I just came back from a really nice walk in the area, it's in the forest, it's beautiful. And um, I'm uh, really happy and also really proud of myself because it was a lot of hard work to get to this point, uh, just to get out here physically, um, but to get these songs ready and uh, I'm so glad that I didn't rush anything and I made sure that I worked on things and that I was prepared because uh, now I can relax and now I can just have fun. Well, here I am and now it's April. So it was about two months ago that I went out to uh, BC and in that time uh, I've had a chance to reflect. Uh, the work continues on it. Jonathan and I have been going back and forth with uh, the mixing and it is incredible. It is so much better than I thought it would be. I knew it would be really good. Um, but as I'm listening to these getting to final mixes, I am so proud of what we did. Uh, it's wonderful. And as you can see here, um, this is what I did every day. Um, you know, I would go for about a two hour walk. Um, I think this is Golden Ears Provincial Park and I would explore around, um, and then go to the studio and, uh, yeah, I mean, not only was it fun, like being out there and being in the woods i love that stuff but i've never had such a creative experience as i did with my time with jonathan i love exploring i also love photography and so i would take my drone out there as you can see from these drone shots uh and take my camera and get footage and i knew that um you know eventually when the album was coming out i wanted to do some music videos or lyric videos and stuff like that and i thought it would be wonderful to um to capture some footage but I mean my goodness this is such an inspiring place to be in uh, to go check out to go explore it was wonderful now if you can believe it uh, this area that I'm filming right here this is only five minutes away from Jonathan's place Jonathan lives in Maple Ridge but he's kind of on the outskirts of town there's a lot of like um, large houses with lots of horses and stuff like that and so there's this beautiful park uh, that's there and I would go explore it and it was crazy because look at this place it's so beautiful um, I get a chance to be out there you know um, 
get some fresh air, and then be totally ready to go when it was time to record. It was such a wonderful experience. The studio was so inspiring. I got to play great instruments and sing on the most wonderful mics like this one. This was a very cool mic. I think we had a lot of the vocals through this. Um, it was amazing. Jonathan and I worked so well together. As you can see here, it's a wonderful creative space. Um, he wasn't passive in this at all. He would jump on instruments give me lots of ideas, um, really pushed me, and that's why I went to work with him is because I needed that because I've recorded a lot of my stuff by myself and play my own instruments. Um, I haven't had that feedback that I desire, and he was wonderful. He pushed me really hard in a very good way, and uh, I loved it. I loved collaborating with him, and his ideas were so good. And um, as I'm listening back to these close to final mixes, I'm just blown away with the beautiful music that we were able to create together. I think the vlog might be coming to an end. We're close to it. I mean, I started over a year ago, and I wanted to give you kind of a behind-the-scenes look at uh, recording an album, and it's almost done. I mean, the album's not quite done, but in terms of putting it together and, and writing music and recording music, it's almost done. And then the experience is so vast. There's so much more to it, but this part is uh, closing the chapter. I am so proud of the work that we've done and so proud of myself for pushing ahead with this because it wasn't easy. There were so many times where I just wanted to quit. It's not because I wanted to quit, but it was really, really hard. And I'm proud of myself for persevering and pushing through. And now look at what I have. I have this beautiful album that I didn't think I could make. I knew I could make a good album, but nothing like this. I couldn't have done it without the help of many people. Uh, my family, my wife, my kids, uh, and uh, Jonathan, as you can see here, playing uh, a great bass part. Uh, he was such a wonderful collaborator, so uh, awesome to work with, and I hope to make many more records with him again. He's the, just the best. Let me check the tuning tube. That was, a, I think, a pretty good take overall, though. now uh, April. It's April 4th today and so we're uh, almost two months away from when I went out to BC to record and um, so much has happened since then too. Um, this um, album is beyond anything I thought I could do. I knew it'd be good but it's, working with Jonathan has just been you know life-changing really and uh, the stuff that we did in BC was wonderful but it was basically like we threw everything at the wall and really hadn't had a chance to go through it or listen to it. And so um, Jonathan's been working with it and mixing it and um, adding to it and it's so good. Um, we're really at the final stages now and um, yeah, I, I'm so happy with it. I think it's great. And I can't wait to um, you know play it for you and re release it. Uh, when that happens, I don't know. There's a lot of things that come to play, including... Um, I've worked so hard on this, I want to make sure that people hear it. So, you know, the planning, the promotion, even this, like this is intentional, this YouTube series, in terms of like building interest and getting people, um, you know, interested in wanting to he hear more of it. Um, and I st started this vlog series over a year ago, 
and um, you know here we are I don't know if this is going to be the last one of it because uh, it's it's certainly not over and there's so much more to it because you know you work on it but how do you get it out into the world um, over the next couple months I'm going to be working on some video projects and working with Stephanie Coos on the album design and all sorts of fun stuff uh, to get it out there and promote it so this is not the end of it but in terms of like the music part yeah we're coming kind of close to the end so I don't know if it's the last official vlog probably not but I just want to thank you guys for being along for the ride and supporting me and uh, stay tuned the best is yet to come